Hey guys, uh, this is the second developer vlog for Supernova Tactics. Um, this is probably going to be a quick one. I just want to show off some improvements to the UI. <laughs> what I hope for improvements at least. Um, so first of all, when you start the game, you're presented with item choices. Now when you pick the item, that's this little animation thing. I'll probably be adding some particle effects to that too. So now you got your guy here your item rather. Um, <clears throat> second, there's a new font. Um, I like to think it's a lot more readable than the other one. Um, the other thing is uh, there's animations for the UI now. So like previously when you just moused over stuff, it would instantly appear. Now it's kind of bubbles in a little bit. Um, there's a hotkey to get rid of the shop because it kind of blocks the back here. And that also animates a little bit. It's not really much of an animation. Um, this button, when you click play, will kind of disappear. Now we've got some enemies here. We can mouse over theirs as well. We've got the UI here. I hope this isn't too loud. Uh, I'm just gonna kill these quick with my little cheat. Um, so the next thing I want to show off is enemy buffs. This is very similar to uh, the items that players get. You get three choices. The difference here is you choose which one you want to give them. You have to give them something. Um, there's a 50% chance you'll give them what you clicked on and then there's a 50% chance they'll get one of the two remaining items. So like in this situation here, give 10% bonus HP, give 5% crit chance, or enemies take no additional damage from crit strikes. This is sort of a situational thing. If you had like an assassin heavy board, this crit immunity could be pretty devastating for you. Whereas maybe this one doesn't seem so bad. So we're gonna click on the HP bonus. I don't know what's gonna happen. Let's see together. Oh. We got crit immunity. The other two disappeared. And then it goes down into here. Um, so player items show at the bottom here. And I didn't really want to do that with enemy ones because enemies are going to be getting a lot of items slash buffs. I don't know what you're calling them. Probably buffs. Um, because if you see here on the top right, we're on wave two. This game is meant to scale infinitely until you lose and you're trying to see how high of a wave you can get to. So there's going to be a lot of buffs. So what I decided to do is if for now, if you press O, this little enemy buffs window comes up and it, you know, has the icon, the name and tells you what they did. So if we were to close the game, reload, uh, th this is placeholder stuff here. So ignore that. Uh, we hit continue. We still have our item that we chose and they still have crit immunity. Um, there's a hotkey. If you hit L for now, it resets the game. Now they have nothing. We choose a new item. Equip our item. You can mouse over items here too in the tooltip to see what they do. Um, let's see what we get this time. So I've only, I haven't added a lot of uh, buffs to the game, so it's the same three. Um, but yeah, let's try and give the HP bonus again. Uh, <laughs> okay, the game don't like us very much. So we got the same thing. Um, yeah, that's basically all I want to show off for now. Um, I'm going to be adding... Uh, oh, one other thing I plan on doing is... Um, I want... I want graphics to like pop a little bit more i feel like they look okay but they don't look great um and i think part of the problem is the nature of the game it's zoomed out a little bit so what i want to do is i think when you click the start button we're going to kind of zoom in so you don't really see your bench like your bench will be deactivated during the combat round and then that gives me a little more space to zoom in and get closer to the field so it's like a small little thing that I think will help. Um, There's a couple other things I have in mind to kind of improve upon, you know, the look and feel of the game. M mostly, I think it's mostly revolving around lighting stuff. 
so we'll see what happens. Uh, also, I since the last video, I added a uh, new pathfinding algorithm. Um, let's see if we can get HP this time. Uh, so actually, this is uh, another thing I need to do still. Um, an item like this doesn't make sense to have multiple, so when you have one, it will stop appearing as a choice. Um, but I need to add more items first, because otherwise it'll get caught in an infinite loop or something. Um, but yeah, that's definitely something I plan on doing. Uh, what was I just talking about? I don't know. Not important. Anyway, um, things are coming along. Thank you guys for watching, and hopefully we'll have a, a nice third update coming along pretty soon, maybe in the next week or so. All right. Adios.